What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video I'm excited to announce we have a unique opportunity for the viewers of the Doc Osaro channel. Now if you guys remember a few weeks back I made a pretty cool video that talked about free resources that many medical students could use. One was the Stanford 25 website that had really high quality videos made by Stanford that talked about the nuances of the physical exam and how to perform it really well. And the other was the Osmosis YouTube channel that had these really high quality animated videos that covered med school basic science and clinical content. Now, the actual co-founder of Osmosis reached out to me and he was very happy that, you know, I found his channel and I liked it and I was supporting it and I wanted my viewers to check it out because I thought it was high quality and best of all, it was free. Um, and he reached out to us and he wanted to kind of give back to the Doc Osara viewers and so they actually, you know, took the time to tell us about what they do at Osmosis and all the stuff they have going on behind the scenes. And so we were, you know, I got to talking with the co-founder, his name Shiv, and he actually ended up recording a video that talked about all the services they offer at Osmosis. And so after I'm done talking here, it'll transition over to that video where you guys can see what they offer. But I'm just going to highlight two points that sold it to me, and I thought, wow, what a cool resource. I want my viewers to check this out. I just want to make you guys aware. Um, again, not saying you have to do anything, but if you like it, check it out. Give them a run. Why not? Um, two things, I mean, this is what made me actually say, you know what, I like what you guys are doing. You guys are doing some high quality work. I want to share it with my viewers. Um, the first is they have this like super fancy um, website platform technology. I don't know, you know, I'm not as, I'm not a young tech guy like you guys, but you know, what you do is like they have a website you like log into and you like upload all of your you know, you go to lecture in the morning, you go to your med school and they have all these lectures. You just like upload the files, the PDFs, the PowerPoints, the Word documents, whatever. And I guess like their technology like crawls through all the words and figures out what you're learning. Um, and then it creates really a study plan somehow for you. And within that study plan, it'll, ha it'll ask you, well, what other resources are you using? Um, USMLE World, um, Firecracker, um, I don't know, Pathoma first aid, whatever, all the stuff that's out there, and it like figures out all the stuff you can check out that you have, like what page to go to, all the resources to look at that's relevant um, to your material. More so I learned, this is the second thing I liked, in addition to that fancy platform which, you know, Shiv will talk about to you in detail much better than I can, um, they have like a whole world of more videos that I didn't know about that are accessible to like their, um, I guess, premier customers, like people who just pay, um, to have their service of having this whole study plan organized for you with like flashcards and all these Anki decks all coming at you to help you study. And then they have access to all these more videos that they make that again, go with your study plan. I'm not doing a good job describing it. I'm gonna let Shiv walk you through the whole thing. But to me, it just seemed way too good to be true. I mean, it's a cool website that just takes all your content, creates a study plan for you. That takes a lot of work out of things. And second, they have more high quality videos and they have all these other resources that come together. I mean, if like it's all the work I did by hand in med school trying to make everything work for me, they do in the click of a button man, did I go to med school in the wrong era. Right when I finished, you know, these people are thriving. So I did it the hard way. Maybe it's easier for you guys. Um, so the people at Osmosis were quite happy that, you know, I was supporting their free YouTube channel. And I think even their, you know, their like paid service is something quite phenomenal. Um, so they actually created a discount code for Dokosara viewers only. So check out up here or down there in the description box. You'll see something on me, you know, here somewhere. Click on that link, check out um, the code they gave with the discount, and now I'll pass it on over to Shiv so he can tell you all about um, Osmosis and what they offer. And as always guys, enjoy your studies and thanks for watching. Hi everyone, my name is Shiv Guglani and I'm a medical student at Johns Hopkins. I started five years ago. I'm a pre-medical advisor at Harvard University as well, which is where I received my MBA. And during this time, I was a co-founder of Osmosis, which is a medical education platform used by over 55,000 medical students and officially by 20 plus medical schools that helps you balance classes, boards, and wards. Essentially what Osmosis does is it helps you solve this problem, which is familiar to most medical students where you're drinking water from a fire hose. 
And we do that by two things. We help you answer the question, what should you be studying? This is an important question because you have, as you know, you have your classwork, which is given to you by your school. You have to prepare for these high stakes board exams like USMLE and Comlex. And then you have the clinical experiences, which is patient care. And ideally, most of these things would overlap. But in practice, there's a lot of things you learn in classes that may not be as relevant for board exams. And the board exams may not be as relevant for the clinical experiences etc. Osmosis uses technology to help you automatically bridge these three curricula. The second question we help you answer is how should you be studying? And this is based on years and years of cognitive science research. My co-founder and I wrote this article for Medscape, um, Five Study Techniques Every Clinical Student Should Know. Um, many of these techniques are also profiled in this book, Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning, where osmosis shows up on page 240. We've also written, uh, created videos teaching you about these techniques, for example, spaced repetition, which was actually reviewed by Dr. Rodiger as well, who wrote the book. So uh, one of the things we really like to do is help you uh, figure out how to study. I think the summary of Osmosis is it's the app that manages med school for you. This was written by a reporter after we presented at the World Innovation Summit on Health. And it was also echoed by another student who uses Osmosis, where um, he said he was a University of Kansas School of Medicine student. He says, Osmosis is the electronic personal assistant that every medical student would attempt to create if they had the time. Well, my co-founder Ryan and I were medical students at Johns Hopkins when we started creating this personal assistant that would help you retain information. So let me just show you how it works. Um, once you go to osmosis.org and create your free trial account, you can pick a study mode. There's the preclinical where you're mostly in classes. There's dedicated board exam prep when you're, when you're cramming for the boards. And then there's clinical rotation mode. Let me start with preclinical. So osmosis gives you these private groups. For example, this is one, uh, one school's class group, the second year class. And we literally integrate with your school curriculum. We're the only platform that actually does that. And so, for example, we know that these students were learning about valve disease management on August 16th, and there are a few documents related to that. Well, Osmosis lets you click Quick Review, and we've literally extracted all of the text that we could find in those documents and given you this map of anatomy, physiology, pathology, and pharmacology concepts that showed up in this curriculum. And you can click on any one of these and open up what we call a concept card, which I'll explain to you in a second. The other way to do it is to click High Yield Prep. Again, we take your class material, then we give you this board relevant high yield prep button. So if you click high yield prep, we say that aortic bowel stenosis showed up 17 times in your lecture. So here's the concept card. It's a summary. It's links to Medscape, which is written by physicians, as well as Wikipedia. We link to over 1,500 pathophysiology videos, 120 of which we created ourselves. The team that used to run Khan Academy of Medicine joined Osmosis. And essentially, we're creating these short, entertaining, engaging, animated videos that go into as much depth as Robbins, Pathoma, Golion, and the other popular resources, but in a more concise and clear um, format. And this is run by our chief medical officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, who again used to run the Khan Academy's medicine uh, division. We also link to over 500 patient videos. This is my favorite resource because ultimately during preclinical years, even though you may be seeing patients once in a while, it can get a little frustrating to just be in class most of the day. Osmosis gives you these patient videos so you can meet these patients who actually have these conditions you're learning about. We link to other memory anchors, including Picmonic. While it's a separate subscription, if you click on this, it'll take you to the Picmonic, and you can use that resource more as well. we'll we're link, going to be linking to Sketchy and other resources too. And then finally, we tell you what page of first aid this, uh, this condition shows up on. So you can see first aid right here. You can also click on cards. We have over 15,000 board relevant flashcards. And you can quiz yourself on each one of these and then flag it for spaced repetition. Many of you have probably heard of Bros and Cephalon, which is a popular Anki deck. Uh, just like the Khan Academy Medicine team joined Osmosis, Bros and Cephalon joined Osmosis. So we have all of his cards and are continuing to improve, it, uh, improve them on Osmosis. And then finally, this is one of the coolest systems. Because we integrate with your curriculum, we give you a full text search called Timeline where you can literally go between the different dates when Eric Valve Sinosha showed up in your curriculum. So you can draw uh, relationships between different blocks. And then you can also click on the specific page number that it showed up on. So you can just click right here and it'll load the, the document for you right in, right in the document. Let me go back to learn. So that's just the first concept. There are 27 concepts that showed up in this, in this uh, lecture. So you can just click next and see mitral stenosis show up 16 times. So here's the mitral stenosis concept card. And it's a really effective way to stay in the same platform and get a lot of resources that will help you uh, figure out the high yield. Apart from this, you can also click into the document. So let me just show you what that looks like. So here I clicked into the document 
And you know, just like any doc viewer, you can actually highlight and annotate. I've done that right here. Osmosis also gives you the option to click directly on the slides and figure out what, what you're learning about. So CML showed up in this slide, and if you want a quick review, you can just click there and go right to the concept card. Um, and then you can also take private notes and create flashcards and questions. So Osmosis, one thing we'll do is we'll automatically analyze what you're studying on the slide and then give you as many board-tested facts as we can. So we know you're learning about leuk leukemoid reaction, so it asks you a question about leukemoid reaction. You can flag that for spaced rep. You can also see what your classmates wrote. So if you, if you and your classmates like to collaborate or your study group, you can literally click on each other's flashcards and flag them as well. So you don't have to send Anki decks back and forth or Quizlet links anymore. Osmosis will automatically link these to your slides. Um, great. And then if you go back to preclinical, you can also quiz yourself. And so what that looks like is if you go to, um, sorry, if you go to quiz by calendar, you can literally just highlight over certain certain cards, uh, certain days, and Osmosis will automatically give you flashcards, questions. We have over 7,500 Bohr cell questions, and we link these directly via documents. You can click on quizzes, and this is where you can do your spaced repetition, as well as go by Bohr topic or by course module, and then also library. Library is essentially a group of 3,000 plus concept cards uh, that cover many topics. And you can take flashcard and question quizzes for any one of these topics as well as go do a deep dive into any individual topic. So for example, if I want to learn about the middle cerebral artery, here's the concept card for that, including one of the Osmosis 3D anatomy flashcards that you can benefit from. And again, you can do a quiz on any one of these individual ones. And you can check these off when you're done. You can also view this as an index or as a map. And this is my favorite where it can kind of gamify and show you how well you know all the different uh, parts of this curriculum. Um, not just for anatomy, but also for physiology, pathology, and pharmacology. And also, you can finally do a search and look for things up on, you know, like ulcerative quietus. You can look up the concept card right then and there. Um, <clears throat> so that's just the preclinical um, side of things. If you want to go uh, to step one prep, just click there, and it'll take you to a step one study scheduling tool where you can create a study plan where it says when do you want to start studying, how long you want to spend in the mode, and then when do you take the exam. If you're watching this, you probably took the MCAT and you probably wish you had something like this where we'll essentially give you a day-by-day -day timeline that you can mix and match. You can modify how long and what order you do things as well as which resources you use. And then in the center, Osmosis will give you the specific page numbers of the book to read, which videos to watch, which questions to do, and it will basically take the guesswork out of studying and just kind of manage the med school process for you. And then you can also take some practice exams right here or you can uh, schedule in practice exams. You can also access the library and quizzes right from here. And the final mode is clinical rotations mode. And this is where you can do something very similar. You can put your core clerkships in as well as electives and sub-eyes when you start medicine, when you take your shelf, surgery, peds, etc. And osmosis will give you a visual um, outlook of, of that uh, med school experience for you. And then when you're in your pediatrics rotation, for example, right here, osmosis will automatically send to your phone clinical vignette questions via push notification. So it's a really efficient way to, to study. So I want to I want to wrap up because I don't want to take much more of your time. Essentially, the way to think about osmosis is it combines the best of many of these other resources that are available, on key firecracker, memorang, etc. We have our own pre-existing flashcard and question bank, and we allow you to create your own flashcards and questions. We have spaced repetition. We have over 3,000 uh, concepts in our library, including 1,500 videos. Uh, we integrate your school curriculum. The only other tool that does that is Notability. We link, help you link to other resources, annotate and highlight documents, full text search across your school. We have built-in collaboration features with your classmates. And then this is probably the most unique thing where we intelligently analyze what you're learning and then recommend concepts like flashcards and videos. We have a board exam study scheduling tool. We're going to be releasing offline mode. We're one of the few tools that was actually created by medical students and is run by clinicians. Um, we try to be cheaper than many of the other tools, so the cost of subscription is, is sort of Netflix level, less than $10 a month is our, for our most popular plans. And then we, assault, we also contribute to open and global medical education and are used by more than 20 plus medical schools officially, including Michigan, Rush, UCSF's uh, Joint Master's Program, Duke's uh, National University of Singapore, etc. The best way to think about osmosis is sort of like a Swiss Army knife, right? So we have many of the tools and features and content that any other platform has, but we have more in one specific, portable, convenient uh, platform, Osmosis. 
Um, and so the final take-home message is, again, we are the app that manages med school for you. And the next step is for you to go to osmosis.org and create your free account and check it out for yourself. Thanks for listening and good luck with the rest of medical school.